Hello guys and welcome to another quick little Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to render the background with transparency in Blender. So in other words, how to add an alpha channel to your render. I'm going to show you how to save it out properly and I'll give you a little example in GIMP of what that might be handy for. So let's quickly jump into it. Just a real quick one today. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to be using Blender's default objects. I've got the default camera, the default cube. And as you know, if we go to our world properties, we just have this standard color here. Um, it doesn't matter what we really change that to. Let's make it a bit brighter. Let's make it blue. Let's go render, render image. And you can see we have this background here, right? Now, what if you want to to add in your own background in compositing or in Photoshop or something, and you just want to render this with a transparent alpha channel in the background. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do that in Cycles and EV. So let's go over to our render settings. And if you go over down to your film, you're gonna see an object here for an option for transparent. So if you now go render and you go render image, you can see we now have a transparent background. Let's quickly close that. And the same thing works for cycles. If we change this to cycles, you're gonna see here that we have the exact same thing here under the film. The transparent is just located in a bit of a different position, but it's gonna be the same situation. So I'm gonna quickly just change the samples for this and just give it a quick render in cycles. And you can see it works just fine in cycles as well. So um, what if you wanted to save this? Well, you didn't have to go to image and then go save as, and then select the destination. Now it's very important that when you're choosing a file format, the, you wanna go with something like a PNG, something that has an alpha channel. If we were to make this a JPEG, you would not have that alpha channel option. You only have the red, green, and blue, as you can see here. So definitely go with PNG. I think that TIFF files also come with the RGB and A, which means that alpha channel as well. So whichever one of the ones that are compatible with the alpha channel, just make sure you always get RGB A. The A stands for alpha channel, okay? So now what we're gonna do, just save as. And now if you were to go and find that image that you saved, you can now like, for example, I'm just gonna show you quickly in GIMP. So you have an example here. You can now drag it into a software like Photoshop and GIMP. And now you have a transparency. So if you now create a layer or something and you put it underneath that you can now go and maybe like paint and it's actually happening you can see it in the background here whereas if this was just a default rendered out background you wouldn't be able to see anything like that so this is a really handy thing great for compositing work so i hope you guys have found this little tutorial useful check out some of my other content this is more of just a quick one today but i'll see you guys next time for another tutorial